I'm right now on my way. I'm walking to St. Vincent de Paul thrift store. You guys, the largest thrift store in Los Angeles. So the goal for today is to find two thrifted outfits. Next weekend, I'm going to emo night. So you guys, I wanna get kind of like a grunge, emo type rock outfit. So I'll see what I run into and maybe something more lightweight shows a little bit more skin because we're probably gonna be dancing, jumping, a whole bunch of people crowded in a freaking room. So I wanna make sure that everything I'm wearing is very breathable. And then for the other outfit, I'll just see what I run into that's cute and then just build something around that. So you guys, let's go on in. And we got some few colors that are a percentage off. Ooh, you guys. Hopefully we run into some red tags because they're only a dollar twenty. White tags are fifty. Green twenty five percent off. walking ran and saw these this oh my god it's so thick but I think I'm into it how much is it though holy freaking smoke you guys see that $30 for this okay maybe it's not as cute anymore but Jesus okay let's keep looking clothes has to be so cute but look at these prices I know $17 isn't like too much but you guys that's a little too much in my book so I think I'm totally gonna pass but you guys if you're in Los Angeles come cop these things because they are so freaking cute but beware the prices are not fun dumpling look at this cute little sweater vest I think it's meant for like a female bunny but I don't care this is the most cutest thing ever it has a few little nicks here I'm just gonna tear it off with scissors but for only $3.99 my bunny's getting a wardrobe today yes I'm a very simple girl. I see color, I take. These are absolutely adorable. And actually I have, I will show you guys when we get home and I show this off to you, but I have some very similar to this that I actually thrifted. So I found an empty walkway. Still have this filming anxiety, but you guys, I came across my first piece and it's Burberry. You guys, a legit says Burberry. Not sure if it's real, but you guys, I'm gonna roll with it. This is gonna be outfit number one. I'm gonna base it around on this skirt right here. Still looking for that emo night fit, so we'll keep looking. Guys, I really am into really oversized leather jackets, but this is a size medium. The shoulders are a little too broad, and it's $34. What the heck? That is way too much money, but I get it. It's leather, but I think I'm gonna pass on this, even though I really want it. Actually, I'll just leave it in my cart, but it doesn't fit me, so. I'll decide towards the end of our shopping. Hey guys, and welcome back to Hiding in Isles of Danielle. So like I mentioned, I'm looking for an emo night outfit. You guys, I found the top that we're gonna base this fit around, and it is this one right here. It's, ooh, it's like a halter top. Can you even see what it is? It's pretty much a halter top with a button front closure, and it is a red tag, so that means it's only like $1.25. It's super dirt cheap, it's black, it works. We're just gonna see what else we can find. I was thinking like high-waisted distressed uh, jeans, so fingers crossed we run into it, but let's get going. Okay, 
guys, we are back in my apartment. We got little dum dums here nibbling on a little piece of romaine. <laughs> you guys, so now we get into my stuff that I'm so excited to show you guys. Um, I usually don't walk away with too much jewelry, but I did end up walking away with some earrings. These are $5 at Goodwill. And I just feel like they make such a good statement earring. It's just this silver earring, really bold, geometric. Kind of gives me like Western vibes, but I'm totally into it. So I'll show you guys how I style these later on in the video. I ended up walking away with this little vest here. Definitely gives me like waitress vibes. What they would wear over a button up shirt, but I really like it. I don't know what it is. It kind of has like the satin finish. I like the gold button um, front closure here. I think that's super cute. And for only it being like, I think it was $1.29 or something like that. I was like, you guys, that's so cheap. Why not take it, right? So one of my favorite things to do when I go thrifting is to pass by the fitting room and check out the rack of all the things that people skipped out on. Because most of the time they're pulling out really cute stuff and it just didn't work out for them. So then I could call dibs on it. And so that's exactly what happened with this cute little slip. So it has a satin finish, has black lace. It is my favorite color, you guys. So this next piece I have is a white mock neck shirt. You can't go wrong with it. It's just the basic, but it works out really well with layering You guys, I've done it again. I'm guilty of wearing blue light blocking glasses as a fashion accessory, but you guys, if you're anything like me, if you work on a computer literally eight hours straight like I do, or if you're in college and you're on your laptop all the time, if you're spending a lot of time on your phone, get major headaches from exposing your eyes to all that light, then you guys, these glasses are gonna come in clutch for you. So the brand Soju's was kind enough to send me two pairs of blue light blocking glasses. So the glasses that I'm wearing right now with this fit are the Oasis glasses. So they have a slight little cat eye, very thin frame, and you guys can already see that the tech is already working because you see that blue light being reflected. It's a really minimalistic look and I'm totally here for it. I think it's super cute. The other pair that I have is called She Young and give more of like granny vintage vibes, but I'm here for it too. These I think I would definitely wear with a more feminine and girly fit. But definitely into these two. You guys are going to see these styled later on. But if you guys are interested in getting any of these glasses that are reasonably priced and will save you from getting those massive headaches, I'm going to leave the link to the Soju's website down below and also the link to both of these glasses in the description box too. So guys, feel free to check them out. But let's get back to this haul. So a while back, I posted a video where I thrifted B shoes here. These are Karen Scott, and it has like this sling back, little tiny heel, and this like crochet type uh, vamp thrifting the same brand, Karen Scott, same size heel, like this woven vamp, and it's a slingback too, only this is like the colorful version of this one. So I decided to take it with me, and it's a size eight, you guys, my size. I was going through the skirts, and I was trying to look for a lot of popular fall prints, like plaid, houndstooth, a gingham, and then I ended up running into this short mini skirt, and at first I was thinking, ooh, I love that. Definitely gives me Burberry vibes. So I decided just to take it, see if it would fit me, check what size it is, and then I see you guys, oh, it says Burberry London in it. And so, is it real? I honestly do not know, but you guys, this is so freaking awesome. It has that classic Burberry plaid print, and the skirt was $9.99, so $10 for it. It's just this cute little mini skirt, and it's in a size 2, USA 2. So I was like, yes, it fits me. So you guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I styled this one, but I'm really glad that I ended up finding that. Just these light wash, high-waisted pants, and they're the brand Sonoma. Never heard of this brand before, but as soon as I saw that they were petite, I was like, yes. They're gonna fit me, I'm only 5'3", a lot of jeans don't usually fit me, so anytime I see that they're a petite size, I'm always gonna snag them and at least try them on, because most likely they are gonna fit. So really happy I walked away with them, they were only $7.99. But you guys, now let's get into the styling portion. Hey you guys, voice over Danielle here. Okay you guys, let's talk about how this outfit is only $25. This whole fit from head to toe is entirely thrifted, but right now we're just gonna focus on this white turtleneck. You guys, they are one of the easiest pieces to possibly style, and I feel like the white color really balances out the, you know, pop of color in the hat and the pop of color in the shoes for a really quirky style without trying too hard. You know what I mean? Y'all, I am convinced that this is real Burberry. I am so stoked about this freaking skirt. I know it's winter time right now, so I probably won't be wearing this as often, and who knows, it might end up somewhere on Depop or Poshmark. I totally haven't made my mind up yet, but you guys, someone let me know how I can realize or find out if this is like an authentic Burberry skirt, because I am obsessed. 
Okay, y'all, I'm getting major vampire vibes from this fit, but I'm here for it. So you guys, my only advice is not to pass up on the plus sizes when you're out thrifting, especially if you have a smaller frame like I do. It works perfectly. You can just totally wear 1X, 2X sizes as dresses and then put something over it like another sweater, a vest, or you guys, this little bustier that I have here. Coming through again with another $25 outfit here, you guys. Everything in this fit is thrifted, and we're mainly focusing on intimates here. So I had that pink slip, and wearing it alone is a tad bit too short, so you can always just tuck it in to some shorts, some high-waisted jeans, paired up with some boots, and you are good to go. But you guys, that pretty much does it for the thrifted fits that I styled. So if you guys liked any of them, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Eggy family. But you guys, I wanted to go ahead and let you know that the next two videos are not going to be thrift related, not going to be clothes related whatsoever. These next two videos are personally going to be more for me and just to keep them recorded somewhere and have them stored where I can go back to them and reference them and just keep them more as memories. The next video, we are adopting another bunny. So Dumbling is gonna have his little girlfriend or maybe a brother, we don't know yet. We're gonna figure it out. The video after that, I'm gonna get another tattoo. You guys, I've posted my other tattoos. So far, I only have two of them. I have a little eggy, and then I have a no face here. I'm gonna be adding a third. So if you guys wanna come onto that journey as well and see what I get tattooed on me next, that's gonna be up maybe the 7th or the 8th, depending on how long it takes me to film and edit everything. I just wanna apologize in advance, but if you guys wanna come on this journey and watch this video, that would be totally awesome, and I'd be so appreciative. And if not, that is okay. In a few weeks, I'll have more thrifted fashion content up too. Also, if you guys wanna check out these Soju glasses, everything is gonna be linked in the description box down below. But as always, guys, I post a video once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.